P2 pool is a decentralized mining pool for Monero and yet when you are using it, you are solo mining. On top of that, you are helping to decentralize Monero further, not only through mining itself, but also through making your hash rate uncontrollable. All of that while using another blockchain under hood without noticing it and no pool fees. What's going on here? Let's talk about how it works. P2 pool is not really a pool. Rather its own blockchain that can have one or more sidechains to the main Monero blockchain. As you know, as a blockchain compared to say a data center, it cannot be shut down. Already one point of failure of a mining pool mitigated. It works by merge mining the P2 pool chain with the main Monero blockchain. We know this process of merge mining already. For example, Dogecoin, Doggy is merge mined with Litecoin on the script algorithm. Only that in this case, it is not to birth a separate new cryptocurrency, but focused to improve Monero mining. This means when a block on the P2 pool chain is found, it gets checked against the Monero blockchain and if valid, it can be submitted to a Monero node. Here we do more beautiful crypto things by excluding another middleman. No pool operator or custody wallet needed that holds funds before a payout is reached. So again, nobody that could be bribed or hit over the head with a wrench or run off with the funds before users ever get paid. And because of that, there can't be fees attached. How does it work that we can get paid with lower hash rate? This was the maybe a bit confusing solo mining yet in a pool part we mentioned. Basically, you can imagine it as everyone mining on the same P2 pool sidechain as working together to solve blocks. If you contribute the shares in a certain window, you will get paid for your shares. It is PPLNS for the more experienced miners. We know those reward systems from conventional mining pools. The big difference here is that even if working together with others to solve blocks, you are still mining through your own Monero node. We can still call it solo mining because individual miners can only control the hash rate of their own node and there is no operator that can direct all the pooled hash rate. P2 pool can never bundle 51% of the mining power in order to attack like a conventional mining pool because there is no big concentration of power, rather tons of individual nodes with their own hash rate interconnected. So to simplify, it is not miners connecting to a pool server, it is P2 pool connecting all the miners nodes on the chain. This is the reason why we need to run our own Monero node in order to run P2 pool. I hope this clears up the solo mining in a pool terminology a bit. It's a bit confusing, but it is also amazing technology. For example, you could set up your own P2 pool sidechain for say your own miners and your friends. And if you have enough hashing power to find valid blocks, the full reward will only be divided onto those people. Not too easy to pull off, of course, hardware wise, but the fact that P2 pool makes this possible to do for, say, enthusiasts is amazing stuff. Here I'm showing you the last week of Monero earnings of just leaving my 3900X running only during the day on 12 threads while I was not making video. If you're currently trying P2 pool through your Monero GUI, you have two choices. There are already two P2 pool chains, the main chain and the mini chain. As P2 pool already became popular with the mining community, also here smaller hardware will earn more on the mini chain because simply put you are working together with less beasts. But at the same time, the mini chain is big enough to find blocks and get people paid. Honestly, the fact of seeing something come out of mining alone, even with a single work machine, can make mining and supporting the network feel way more rewarding. There are downsides you will always need a full Monero node somewhere in order to use it or know a remote node you trust. You can do this yourself on a server or your own local GUI wallet is enough too. We recently did a tutorial video on setting the basics up. I'll link it for you in the top right corner. With an ordinary pool, of course, you just need an address. So the setup is a bit simpler, but once you have your own node running anyway, it should not matter anymore. Also another negative, the Monero address you are using to mine with P2 pool will not be fully anonymous by default like it would be just on Monero. Basically your sidechain activity, what you are mining, is public. 
This is easily resolved though by using an account dedicated to mining and anonymizing your Monero by sending it to your actual storage wallet. But it still needs to be mentioned. Ptupel is amazing technology and I should have featured it way sooner. Today was more of the what because it's pretty unique. In last week's video we set the basics and if you're still in need of a Monero wallet that's a simple all-in-one starting point to getting your own wallet, node and already using Ptupu from that machine in a very simplified form. As you saw from my trusty O3900X it works beautifully. There are more ways to use Ptupu than through the GUI wallet. Of course we will take a look at it in a separate video as well. That's it for today. What is P2Pool? This channel deals with everything tech and crypto. Please leave us a sub if that interests you. Happy mining and bye!